because Zenka has never found its uh, footing really well uh, since leaving the ABS. Africa comes. Oh! the man a put forward there it was a classic it was simply awesome fantastic free kick that has given up why united a two nil up here and a brace for an egg udo <laughs> that's uh, actually yusuf adio uh the, the, the defender he he really blasted that one into the back of the net the fans here they're going gaga in the stands. A super, super finish. Came out of nothing. Look at that. That was a rocket. I still think that Lamiuma may have done better. But you can see that was an absolute bullet. He got there, probably got his gloves on it, but couldn't keep it out. A super effort from Adio. 2 0 Aqua United. And that looks like. <laughs> Stadium to win. Kick it, Yusuf Adieu. Who else to take their free kicks? And he's the captain today. He's a grounder. That was very good free kick coming from Yusuf Adieu. Usually you expect uh, some balloon from him. I can't believe he didn't get it on target. A lot of people thought perhaps he would hit a pile driver, a high one, but he went for a grounder instead. And that almost caught Ayo Shebun napping. But then tried as he did on that occasion. They couldn't bury that. But for a change, he went down. Perhaps the bounce of the ball, he thought he would beat Ayo Shebun. But Junior, as Aqua United, they go for it. And the boy Kaiden could go keep it there from Chegun Ayo. Grassroots coach, he likes beginning football from the, from the grassroots. As you see, Yusuf Adios free kick, almost beating Ayo Chegun in goal for Plateau United. Now, this is one of their free kick specialists. This team also has another free kick specialist talking about, talking about Namso Edo. But today, Namso is nowhere on the list. In his absence, Adio is having to take all the kicks and a deadly Dead stoppage time added after the full 45 minutes of regulation time. Meko has sent the ball forward. And now, opportunity calling for Aqua United. And a beautiful double sword. Super Evans stopping his half. We all know of his vision. We know about his close control. Now he did wonderfully well. All he needed to do was to place that ball. Taking off Harrison Ibukumbo. Harrison body checked him. And for that is an infringement against Aqua United. Robbie felt that Harrison body checked. Adio twisted his knee on that occasion. He didn't land properly. I'll be very shocked if this kid can continue. Well, both in the defense and of course in the middle. The midfield take another look at what happened to Adio. There you have it. Ah, and now landing awkwardly, hitting his leg on the deck. That's painful, Mike. Yeah, he had to stop a rampaging Julius Nuhu from getting into the <laughs> well. Some <laughs> wonderful footwork there, uh, uh, up front for Aqua United. Uh, that was uh, rather more optimistic, but really, we've not seen any goals can give you some half time scores from elsewhere. It's Sunshine Stars, Leading Lobby Stars by two goals to nil, Enyimba one, Sharks two, Cardinal has one, Crown of Obama Shaw nil. Well, that was uh, one to Godfather Igudea, but you can see very, very cynical there. And could have been a very bad one. Step and that was the clearest chance of the game, actually, for Aqua United. If that had gone in, that certainly would have thrown the cat up. Anyone who's coming here today will surely know that um, he's the man of the match. No and contest. That, that's the man on the ball. He's falling and they're troubling in Yimba, even when he's down. Free kick. Foul against Adio Yusuf. Is that what they know that about it? They've done so well. They've been, they've been good. So that's uh, how nomadic players can be. And there's Yimba. He was uh, looking for Nfonudo. It seems to have uh, uh, some kind of telepathy. Uh, too many times last year, maybe a couple of times for Enyimba, and they didn't produce uh, quite a number of goals. Uh, uh, so Kunkwa didn't score a goal last season. 
a bit of a surprise that he's been prepared to the more established uh, goal scorers like Rafael Bunsong and uh, battlers like Ezekiel Basi. It will be interesting to see the coming on of uh, Ezekiel Basi into this game. But at this point in time, he saw that tackle from Nzube and Azemba uh, on that uh, Aqua United. Um, he decides to go for the ball and gets the ball straight into, I think, the arm of Nzuba and Azemba, who goes down. And a shot there, not a bad one. Not a bad one by any stretch of the imagination. That was a rasping shot from Yusuf Adio. And just cleared the bar. Aqua United turned it on the hit now. He took away his marker very well and, uh, of course, uh, lashed on that shot with his right foot. Uh, but then the, the style was uh, not that style because he took it with the outside of his foot and it just went over. Ubong, Friday. Taylor, anyway, it's uh, Yusuf Adio. They should not allow him to let off uh, one of those uh, bullets. It's packed there. And all the same, it's not the best of corner kicks I've seen, <laughs> despite all the arrangements for that. And it's a corner kick that I might have put his side under pressure. As a result of all the preparations, arranging the mic, I thought he was about to swing that ball directly into the net. Uh, from the box. In my opinion, Balanen, yes, he was touched a little, but then... He also made a meal by diving into the box, perhaps believing the referee might just give a pen. They are not happy about that at all. Morris Coleman sad about that result, and so the charge to his boys today is uh, to beat Warri Wolves, and I'm sure that's what the fans here have come out to see how they're going to do that. How they're going to do that? Afternoon, Bonobu. is Shobowale, the former Kanu Pillars man. Coming very hard on a serial only Sema. And a free kick uh, rightly awarded to. You can serial only Sema as uh, not that tiny himself. Well, the free kick taken, well taken, and headed. Oh, great reaction set from the goalkeeper. He may not have known much about it, about it, but that was good reaction from Dele Ajiboye. Aqua United on the cusp of a goal one more time. Great free kick, well taken, and the goalkeeper had to cut it on the second time asking goalkeeper Dele a jeep. Great anticipation for him that time. It was a woeful short that uh, when you think was a, a good opportunity uh, for Sai to have uh, done something. And this was an earlier challenge. Take a look, it's a deal that went there, had a touch to the ball. Right. To Chinedu Dodge in the 20th minute, then Chigose Emmanuel picking up his own yellow card in the 24th minute, and Uche John picking up a third yellow card and the second for uh, Nimba in the 26th minute. Kufre Ebon holding up the ball nicely. Quiet United looking for an opportunity to shoot and finally shoot they do. Well, that's getting the crossbar by not very much. A good effort from Yusuf Adio. And the first real attempt at goal. Yeah, I'm not surprised I've that shot from Yusuf Adio. You know what the man is capable of doing? It reminds you of the free kick he took against the same Nasarawa United on the night of that uh, beautiful match last season when Aqua United won here by two goals to nothing. It was that crack. Uh, you could argue that Aqua United don't seem to be lucky in this game in terms of the calls by the referee. Take a look at that. Yusuf Adil thought it was uh, on. Nonetheless, very like uh, stock out there, and of course, uh, poor challenge from Eugene Obi. Gets the first yellow card of this match.
car that awarded uh, Eugene Obi for that uh, rather poor challenge. Take a look at that again. That was just took place at uh, the challenge on uh, Yusuf. The substitutes. Uh, that's the substitute table as Wakan almost dancing his way through. The referee gives a free kick. Uh, and it would seem that uh, it would seem that Yusuf Adio is in trouble with the games inside the final four minutes. I say Yusuf Adio control the ball very well. Then from, from a tackle from behind uh, from Anu. I say Yusuf Adio control the ball very well. Then from, from a tackle from behind. Uh, from Anu Ishaya and it's a Hawaii United a free kick and I hope this time Ibuku will unleash one of those fine start to the game so far we're seeing uh, some beautiful uh, touches on the ball Sunday at Dotinji was too desperate on that occasion he fouled Yusuf Adio and has hand for his side a free kick. He's a bustling striker, though not as popular out here as Kletus Itodo. Yusuf Adio was infringed upon by Kelly Kester and that was a high boot. That was a rough boot. The referee felt unfair tackling. In the bright. Yusuf Adio has failed to give him any breathing space. But I like his technique. He plays as a big man. He holds up the central defense and shields the ball. He's got tremendous upper body strength. And many coaches could do with such attackers. He could play as a lone attacker, shielding the ball, creating spaces for his other attackers like Ajani to come into play. So such players are pretty crucial to their side. Adedeji picks out Ajani Ibrahim. Itodo. So they couldn't control the ball from Ibrahim Ajani. Heavy rain and a strong wind also here in Ibadan. But the action must continue. And it's continuing. Surely. Aqua United still searching. But that's a very, very interesting shot. Coming from a wear off. Shorter from uh, Yusuf Adil. Swung in again, the report delivery, and uh, if they get gives the ball away. Yeah, but the men in blue, they're the unrelenting. And the shot long one from distance, and that should be the first goal. Oh, great recovery from a That was something to travel. And what a way this game has started. Family is on, and it's final one.
Yusuf Adio well, into the small of his back there well he acted like hey, he's just been killed or stabbed in the back for a player like uh, Thomas Zenke has never found its uh, footing really well uh, since leaving the ABS Africa comes oh! race for the man What a free kick at the man a put forward there. It was a classic. It was simply awesome. Fantastic free kick that has given Aqua United a two lead up here. And a brace for Anyek Pena Udo. <laughs> That's uh, actually Yusuf Adio. Uh, the, the, the defender, he, he really blasted that one into the back of the net. The fans here, they're going gaga in the stands. A super, super finish came out of nothing. Look at that. That was a rocket. I still think that Lamiuma may have done better, but you can see that was an absolute bullet. He got there, probably got his gloves on it, but couldn't keep it out. A super effort from Adio. 2-0 Aqua United and that looks like breathing space.